My head's so messed up, but I can't fold to no fear Got say set right up on these bands And I'm gonna use the wipe tears Five years to stick into the plans I made when I was a J. Told moms I can't go live no normal life Won't stop till I'm rich Said where were you when I was down bad And the money coming to me so fast Left the whole she a big dub Straight forward with it, I don't go back Everybody living better I still remember times when them broke down Tied it on this come up I gotta get a bag for the fam now But I got nobody to lean on Got a cold heart in a cold world Ever since you left, I don't know what's next, I ain't found closer I keep a knife in my chest just to cut holes off, I don't know them Leaving a bitch in the past, I gotta go now, it's over Yo, what's going on with your YouTube drummer Chris here? We coming back at y'all with another vid and what we have here today BAM! That's right, and these are the Air Jordan 3 Neapolitan atmosphere mochas or why they call them the women's mochas because predominantly this is a women's shoe the air jordan 3 not to be mistaken of the mocha 3s that came out back in 2000 2018 uh those things i remember those things was a clean shoe too as well and uh those things were basically sitting back in 2018 and this one here this is like i said it is more a predominant women's shoe but I like the little hints of this light pink and also the midsole, if you guys can see, maybe the light's too much. But the midsole is like that creamy midsole and a little bit of that mocha, you know. I did, you know, I was saying that this had a little Travis vibe to it. A lot of people said in the comments it doesn't, but hey, you guys, we all have different opinions. All I was saying, because, you know, it has a little bit of that mocha and the little uh, vintage uh, midsole and a little bit of pink, you know, because, you know, People love to put the pink laces on the on the Travis's. And that, this is just one to say, is a very nice and clean shoe. And this is kind of a weird time of time of sneakers right now because it's not. The, it seems like it's not that much hype on these things. And Jordan threes, I feel like is like that new next wave of hype. I mean, we kind of are starting to get over on the Jordan ones. Don't get me wrong, it's still a hype silhouette. But we're starting to move on to Air Jordan 4s. Feel like the Air Jordan 3 are starting to get a little traction, especially after the Alma Minera. For this being a women's shoe, I think it's actually pretty clean. I kind of, you know, I wish this was more of a men's shoe. Like, I think it still would have sold well. But for this being a women's shoe, it only goes to a size like four and a half women's or something like that all the way to a women's 12, which is only a 10 and a half men's. So any big feet people out there that's over a size 11 and up, Sorry guys, I don't think these things are coming out in very extensive size. These things are also coming out the same day that it's the 72 in 10. So two releases back to back on the same day. And not only that, we just got the Jordan 6 on Wednesday. So we had three retros this week, you know, jam pack week. And then um, next week, we're starting to get like uh, Union 2s and some other things too on the sneakers. It's just been a stack week, man. It's a lot of money. So I feel like a lot of people, especially nowadays, a lot of people are kind of just picking and choosing which shoe they really want to get, which shoe is worth the money for their pockets and, and stuff like that. So a lot of people are picking and choosing, choosing now, especially now that Air Jordans are, you know, raised up the price. These things are retail at $200. If it being a women's shoe, even the smaller sizes is, you know, going to be uh, retail at $200. Maybe that's a little tactic because usually GS size is a little bit cheaper but hey man I still say this is a pretty freaking clean shoe even as a women's shoe you could have passed this as a man's shoe still a nice shoe still looking pretty nice you know it's very very clean I like it okay, let's just go ahead let's get into this review real quick huh okay all right let's take a quick little 360 of these things here and like I said man these things are clean. They're nice. The thing I want to say is the material. Usually on threes, they put on some pretty good materials. And this even being a women's shoe, look at that nice tumble leather. Very soft, very plush. Reminds me a lot of like some of the past threes that we've been getting. But it, these actually feels better than Black Cement's back in 2000, I want to say 18 and stuff. So very nice, very soft leather throughout all the white leather. Take a good look at the elephant print is in that mocha elephant print. You know, very subtle, very nice as well. A little bit of that touch of that light pink. I guess they call this the atmosphere. I think that's what they're called. It's just like how those with the bubble gums. But here, a little touch of that light pink onto the midsole. Got you a little bit of your elephant print too as well on the back of the heels. That dark mocha emboss jump man with the air on the bottoms on the back of the heels. Does come with your white flat rope laces. Moving on to the little light pink eyelids and to the tongue here, you have that light pink 
jump man stitched in onto the top of the tongue. Back on the sock liner here, you have that cell color sock liner with a little bit of that touch of light pink on the back of the tongue. And also the insole, you have that mocha jump man inside with a little bit of that touch, that light pink insole inside. Come with your little hang tag as well, this little light pink Air Jordan hang tag. Uh, just kind of comes on the side can detach if you like and you had that vintage vibe white cell midsole here If you guys can see and you had that clear air bubble throughout the outsole on the bottoms here As you guys see you got that mocha outsole here with the embossed Jordan onto the bottoms the little light pink traction pod as well I'm gonna protect the bottoms here because it will get all nasty and dirty So make sure you guys get on that drip grip guys use my discount code jumperman10 save you guys a little bit of money the best sole protector on the market today no slippage no tears multiple wears i worn these at a sneaker event all day and it's still good to go so make sure you guys get on that drip grip use my discount code jumperman10 hey guys have it man these are the women's air jordan 3 mocha whatever you want to call these things like i said I think it's a clean shoe, you know? And for it being a women's shoe, so you definitely have to use the sizing. So for instance, you got to track one and a half if that is your men's size. So example, I'm a size nine. Uh, you wanna get a size 10 and a half in women's to so track one and a half. So 10 and a half, nine, nine men's, all right? So just kind of do that with all sizes and that's how you get your size. And obviously if you're the bigger sizes, like size 11 and up, Probably not gonna be able to get these things because I think they stop at a size women's 12, which is a 10 and a half. So sorry guys, it wasn't too hyped up. I feel like like it was kind of like a little sneaky, but you know, again, I think it's at this time of this sneaker world that we're in right now. Like I feel like things are just a little low. Like things are just kind of just chilling. Not really people really care about certain sneakers nowadays, and like we haven't got anything really hyped up, you know. Uh, even though this, to me, in my opinion, is a good sneaker, it is a pretty nice shoe. I think these things are going to sell out, especially big sizes. Big sizes will probably sell out the fastest because it is a women's shoe, so majority of the pairs will be a smaller size, like a size women's seven or a size women's like seven and a half and so on and so forth. Bigger size will be more limited. Reselling these things are not that crazy. Like they're around like three, like, or actually no, bigger size is around like that mid 200s, which been basically what like a lot of other, you know, Air Jordans been going so far. So it seems like pairs are kind of limited. You know, it seems like because uh, in my area, none of the Foot Lockers are kind of getting these things. Champs, in uh, from what I saw last that I checked on Champs on the Flex app, they only have, uh, you know, ship to me option, no in-store pickups. So they, it, it might have changed by now, but I'm just saying like it's it seems pretty like kind of limited, like semi-limited, you know. So best bet to try to get these things is going to be on Sneakers app. It's released on this uh, Saturday, May 14th. So try to get these things, guys. Try to put your footwork in. But if you guys do end up taking else, I don't think these things are gonna be that much more over retail. Like it's come, maybe, like I said, these things probably tops like 250 or something like that, around mid 200s, high 200s, something like that. I don't think these things are gonna do that crazy amount of numbers. But anyway guys, that's pretty much end of the video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up, subscribe if it's your first time here, comment down below, and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at German Chris on IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all, love y'all. I'm German Chris. Push.